In this example, we will be finding the square root of 200. In order to do this, let's first review a math rule. The square root of a times b is equal to the square root of a times the square root of b. This means that if we have two numbers multiplied by each other inside of a square root, we can separate out those square roots and multiply them. In order to do this with 2200, we need to look at the factors of 200. In this case, I will use 100 and 2. I chose to use 100 because 100 is a perfect square. This will help us simplify in the future. Now, let's rewrite the square root of 200 as the square root of 100 times 2. Using our math rule we just reviewed, we can now rewrite the square root of 100 times 2 as the square root of 100 times the square root of 2. Because 10 times 10 equals 100, we can see that the square root of 100 will be 10. Therefore, the square root of 200 can be rewritten as 10 times the square root of 2. We can also estimate the square root of 200 to the nearest whole number by looking at perfect squares near 200. Examples of perfect squares we can use include 14 squared, which is 196, and 15 squared, which is 225. Because 200 lies between 196 and 225, we can write the following inequality. The square root of 196 is less than the square root of 200, which is less than the square root of 225. Because we know 14 squared gives us 196, we can rewrite the square root of 196 as 14. Similarly, because we know 15 squared is 225, we can rewrite the square root of 225 as 15. Now we know that the square root of 200 is between 14 and 15. In order to find the integer that the square root of 200 is closest to, we can look at the difference between 200 and our perfect squares. To do this, we will subtract them. When we do 200 minus 196, we get 4. And when we do 225 minus 200, we get 25. We can then see that 200 is closest to 196. Therefore, the square root of 200 will be closest to 14. We can now write the square root of 200 estimated to approximately 14.